Hey guys, so we're going to have a look a little bit here at the upcoming changes in Lindos um, that are currently in the works. I'm just going to run through a couple of them, not a whole lot. Um, so uh, the first major change is um, the menu. Okay, so the menu is getting a box on the left as well as on the right. It only had a box on the right before. You've got now um, your uh, accessible menus in a box as well, as well as your favorites. Um, also the menu has been trimmed down to only have one style you can't really change styles anymore and uh, although this was I suppose a nice feature really it, it was just uh, you know a headache a headache uh, with the problems it did cause you you still have lots of options to resize menu and change many options within the menu but the current layout is now locked to just the accessible the standard layout okay so that's one of the changes that's uh, up and coming um, yeah I suppose we could look at that at a later stage if people really really prefer but I don't think many people customize the the layout anyway um, there are plenty other uh, menu applets to choose from if you really want to change to a different menu you can but we intended it to be uh, similar to the because it's a, a Lindos, which is supposed to be sort of very similar kind of feel to Windows. So this menu is what is intended to be used. So um, <clears throat> one of the changes, obviously, is that the menu is now locked to this layout. You can change many things within the layout. There are lots and lots of options in the config, but this is the current layout that is locked to. Um, I'm also uh, adding a uh, feature that will later come into the toolbox where um, a person can reset your menu so if you make too many changes to the config or uh, you know something goes wrong and you reboot and you find your menus are all messed up you'll have a reset option to reset your menu back to this layout the standard layout so users with any kind of menu issues can now simply just reset the menu and it just defaults back to this layout which is quite nice a feature we should have actually put in a long time ago so that's the menu uh, changes with the menu um, themes I want to speak a little bit about themes okay so um, in the past a person would have had to change your themes separately you would have to change the uh, GTK, the Windows border, the, the you know shell theme, icon theme, mouse pointer, uh, all of those would have to be changed separately, and you'd also have like a massive variety of options, which is nice, but it also looks sloppy um, and it gets messy. So now your new theme options, you can simply just right click and choose change themes now. So you can just choose change themes, and you'd have specific options. So you'd have the the Windows Classic theme, the Windows XP theme, the Windows 7 theme, and the Windows 10 theme. So it's got four built-in themes that we will have to obviously maintain. And simply clicking on this one theme, for example, clicking on the Classic theme, would then change the borders, the GTK, as well as the mouse pointer, and your icons. So And of course the shell theme. So everything changes. So you choose a Classic theme, and now everything has been updated to the classic theme so it's a one click option which is really nice it simplifies everything it's pretty cool uh, the same goes for if you switch to XP choose the XP theme and you'll see that everything will change to XP the shell the icons the GTK the mouse pointer 
so that's the XP theme and then of course if you go to the Windows 7 theme if you click Windows 7 you'll see that it will change the Windows border it will change the GTK it will change the shell theme and of course uh, the actual GTK 3 and GTK 2 and mouse pointer and icons and everything else will change to sort of Windows 7 kind of look-alike theme the same with the Windows 10 theme if you click on Windows 10 it will change to the Windows 10 borders the white one um, GTK obviously to Windows 10 the shell theme to Windows 10 the icon set to Windows 10 so now you've got the Windows 10 look okay so those are the four themes that are included by default um, I think at some point we may add one or two more but I think these are pretty much cover cover the the more popular themes in the sort of Windows environment since this Windows is a sort of Windows look-alike it doesn't make sense that a person would run 2,000 other themes you would pretty much run one of these four basically so we've got all the major ones covered the classic 95 98 uh, we've got the XP theme the Windows 7 theme and the Windows 10 theme so those are the those are covered and you could simply simply right click on the desktop choose change themes or you could um, open up your settings There's settings system settings and choose themes as before it used to go to the other window now just go straight to that that window that lets you change themes or you can just choose it from theme manager over here or you can simply just uh, select it from your favorites so it's everywhere and it's just one click so easy to change themes look at that just so easy and simple the same with background obviously to change background is just right click choose a background it's that easy the same as with if you go to your system settings and change backgrounds over there we've basically done the same two themes now so the themes and the backgrounds are now mm, basically controlled via uh, Makulu Linux scripts okay so that's easy the other thing I also want to show you is that if you actually look at the themes there's quite a lot of changes on the themes before uh, when you ran this old classic theme a lot of these little buttons were not quite right the, the coloring wasn't all that great um, all these kind of buttons they were sort of skewed they weren't nicely centered the way it is now everything was kind of off center with this with the shell theme the GTK theme as well it wasn't spaced as nicely as it is now it was much it was too tight too too small too tight um, yeah so I've done a lot of work on some of these themes you'll notice that they just uh, much more smoother than before just lots of little tweaks everywhere made made it so much nicer um, the XP one not too many changes on the XP front there wasn't too much wrong with it a um, couple of minor tweaks but for, apart from that it's still pretty much uh, the same the Windows 7 one is probably the one that one went the most of the changes as you can see here look at that spacing it's so nice before it was quite tight you know um, same if you open up here you'll notice that this bar is now nice and smoothly oh, Oh. I've got butter fingers with a mouse sometimes. There we go. You can see it smoothly transitions. It doesn't have this ugly thick bar down the bottom going down here. It, it nicely transitions smoothly, just sort of shading over there. Uh, the buttons are also nice before they were too big, too bulky. They shine up nice and blue now when you select as well. Um, it, this is kind of actually more a mixture of Windows 8 and Windows 7 together, kind of thing, meshed into one two themes to make this to give this effect but you'll notice that uh, it is a much much nicer experience um, GTK 2 as well now matches the GTK 3 as you can see here uh, the buttons are now much more smoother more uh, realistic just just nicer more refined so that's nice you can even see anything you select now basically pops up that even these cancel and OK buttons everything just much more fluid and much more smooth that flows better so that's the Windows 7 theme also the shell theme has undergone quite a change here as well you notice everything is now sort of uh, you've got the sort of darkish blue bottom panel you've got the uh, well 
the light the different shaded blue uh, menu with the gray boxes uh, and then you've also got the uh, anything that pops up is kind of a very 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 light blue with uh, some blue highlights um, so that's that's pretty cool that's very nice it definitely definitely meshes much better than before so the Windows 7 team underwent the biggest biggest changes I would say out of all the teams much smoother much nicer it doesn't look bulky and old and doesn't look rushed it just much better flows much better uh, even when opening up something like uh, synaptic package manager let's open that and we'll see uh, all the buttons and just how it uh... okay, as you can see here selecting something highlighting something uh, it really looks so damn nice just look at that so new themes coming your way and they are really nice polished basically polished yeah uh, even the windows uh, look at this just it blends so nicely the windows 10 theme hasn't really undergone m many changes some slight changes to the uh, shell theme of course mm -hmm. but very minor it still looks pretty much the same the uh, GTK theme pretty much still similar um, there are some changes with the uh, GTK 3 you'll notice here that the buttons now are nicer they smoother you know Windows always had this sort of uh, blended look where you can't really uh, nothing's really boarded so it kind of just looks like white and then suddenly a button just appears out of nowhere and that's uh, you know even this bar now so it really does look nice unlike a lot of the cinnamon windows 10 themes out there that's got this thick ugly bar that looks like like a quarter block and then these buttons highlighting all badly uh, now it's a much much nicer look just look at that anyway so those are the theme options that's the work that I've been doing the last uh, couple of weeks working on themes it is a uh, tiring and it does take long I have also if we open up the toolbox I've also removed the big icon here blah 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 so there's some changes coming here I'm gonna start filling up the toolbox with all the new stuff soon toolbox is probably gonna be down here somewhere with some nice new options uh, this will be change around a lot so yeah a lot of nice things in work and at least uh, on the uh, design front with the desktop you can have a much smoother experience uh, although you may like I said you may be limited in more options like before you had a ton more options but uh, it's uh, gonna be a much more polished and more more smoother um, more smoother feel you know it's just gonna be a better experience or experience is the word I'm looking for so yeah that's uh, some of the changes I've been working on pretty cool huh